go into Apple, which sells consumer electronics software and personal computers, including the iPhone 6S, which we don't have on the desk. Right, although it's about to launch the iPhone 7. The event for that is imminent, and that will be where they reveal the features. A lot of discussion online. They're very secretive about that. But look, Apple is a very interesting stock to discuss because it's the world's most valuable company, but it hasn't really done all that well recently. Market cap here of 576.3 billion US dollars, a PE of 12.5 and a dividend yield of 2%. Mm. Rowan, Apple in the, we don't have this one in our international portfolio. No, we don't, although it's mm. very much front and center for many, many uh, client portfolios. I do own them in another portfolio, but not in this one. Mm, something that we mm. may discuss a little later. <laughs> Your so thoughts on Apple, uh, considering uh, you have a Samsung? Uh, exactly. A bit like uh, Paul's reaction. I think uh, uh, Apple sort of it, it elicits quite strong reactions. I think there's a strong bull camp and quite a strong bear camp as well. It, I, I think uh, given that I own a Samsung <laughs> uh, in the latter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is very interesting because it has been in the forefront. The, the iPhone has been the, the, the leading handset. I recently saw they went over a billion unit sales of iPhones, which is, is phenomenal. But investing is all about the future and whether they continue on that trajectory. And I think that is the question, whether iPhone will continue as a leading handset or my view is handsets are becoming genericized and it's more about the software, but like the PC industry went. Android is, is clearly a leader, and I think that's making a big inroad into iPhone. Paul, we need more disclosure. Mm. You have Apple everywhere. At yes, home. I like supporting the companies that we are invested in. So I've got an Apple Mac, and then you know the whole family's got all the usual devices. Um, so that's you've kind of in the ecosystem, and we're also Apple Music subscribers and all the rest of it. You can't get enough of Apple, I see, in your house. Yeah, having said that, of course, the Google Android platform we'll talk about in a minute. But for me, the real issue with Apple is what will the iPhone 7 sales be? Because we know that the refresh cycle is often about the form factor. In other words, does the phone look sufficiently different so that smart people who like the latest stuff will be incentivized to go and buy it? The views on that are very split. In my family alone, there are like two or three or four family members who are delaying their upgrades with MTN because they want to get the iPhone 7. They could have got the upgrade three or four Let's months ago. Let's see your watch. You yeah? don't have a watch. No, no watch. No Apple watch. No Apple Watch. That's interesting. Although I probably will get watch. one for the <laughs> You're nodding away. Thing. My son has got an Apple Watch that is in the drawer because the battery life is less than a day. Ah. And I think that's the key challenge. The iPhone is clearly a market leader, but what is the next great technology that they're going to bring? They tried the Apple Watch. Uh, apparently under Steve Jobs, they never would have launched it. And ultimately, it really has been a failure. Um, I think 9 out of 10 people that bought the watch don't actually use it. Well, thanks. You just helped me with the future buy decision. I won't be going there. Discovery in this country is very keen to get people to buy Apple Watches because it can measure your heart rate. So then you'll get all your points, you know. But it's We've interesting that, it. that... Can we call this hot or not? Well, let's is look at the share else? chart yes, first because it presents with quite mm -hmm. an interesting looking pattern. It did very well, gets right up to $130, you know, about a year or so ago. Since then, it sort of sagged and drifted around. And that was partly on the fact that the 6S didn't sell as well as people anticipated. But I don't know. I just think they're going to really blow the boots off of the world with the iPhone 7. Lots of sales into this festive season to come. And then what is it that you know about the iPhone 7 that we don't? Well, it, there are a couple of things. It's going to look a little different with a little different back. The front-facing camera, there are going to be two of them apparently on the back for a better image. That two Rowan's point the battery life. The going to cover the entire screen, so ba it'll look and life. feel and look different. Longer battery life, better camera, faster processor, all of that stuff. Hot or not? So, uh, might be a short-term bounce, but long-term, I'm uh, not hot. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> ah, that's too sad. No, look, I'm very hot in it. I yes, think the current obviously you are very hot entry on it. point is perfect because there's not a lot baked into that cake. Look at that. You know, price-to-earnings ratio is so low for a U.S. company that's extremely low. And I think in time, what Apple will do is transition from its current environment into, for example, acquiring things like Twitter, Uber, maybe, with all of its cash and then also expanding into other manufacturing areas like fitness and wearables, motor cars, all of that stuff. We're hot. Yeah.